What up guys, Sub here, the NBA Everyday. Alright, NBA 2K12 Legend Showcase Review. Is this thing worth the $10 to 800 Microsoft points? We're gonna get through this in 3 minutes, hopefully, alright? If you guys haven't watched my last two videos, I show a one-on-one -on -one with the pickup game mode, and I do show a horse gameplay as well. And hopefully that can help you make your decision, but if you're too lazy to watch those two videos, this video should do the job. Now, if you're the type of person who doesn't really care spending Microsoft points, you're pretty rich, you can spend it on anything, you don't really care, you really love this game, go ahead and buy it. You will have fun playing it because it is fairly fun. But honestly, if you're considering rather getting this or the Modern Warfare 3 map packs or any map packs for any other game or even a 3 month in general, get that instead. This is honestly not worth the money at all in my opinion. I really did love the horse and the horse is probably the only thing that makes this thing worth the money. I do applaud 2K for having a lot of legends in this game. As you guys can see, I just keep on going down and down and down and I really do like that but you know... You can do the same thing in 2K11. When I got this game, I wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one with Kobe and Michael Jordan. You can't do that in this game. The only thing you get relatively close to for close players, you know, relatively players that are actually playing right now, is the only 3-on-3 three -three era where you do get uh, Tim Duncan, Dirk Nowitzki, and Kobe Bryant, but of course 10 years ago. So you can't play with no LeBron, no anything versus the brand new players, which really did piss me off. And one of the bonus features in this thing is, as you guys can see right here, you can play classic player online. Not classic team online, classic quick game. So you know how you play quick games online for ranked matches. You can pick any team you want. They get to pick any team they want. So now you can pick any classic team you want and they can pick any classic team they want. So it's obviously going to be only the Bulls, Celtics, and Lakers. No one else is going to pick the Cavs or some random team like that. It's only going to be those three teams and they're going to be overused. Michael Jordan is going to be used almost every single time. And honestly guys, this is not worth the $10 in my opinion unless you really have nothing else to spend it on. It is a waste of time guys. I mean I could do the same thing in 2K11 having one-on-ones, two-on-twos, three-on-three I can have a game of 21, I can have a pickup game, I can have anything. All the stuff that's in that game, you can do in this game too. And they did not even put a dunk contest, they did not even put a 3 point shootout, and that really, really, really disappointed me. How are you going to have a dunk contest in 2K10, a dunk contest in 2K11, a 3 point shootout in 2K10, a 3 point shootout in 2K11, and you're not even going to have one in 2K12. That honestly really disappointed me guys, I'm telling you right now, 2K13 is going to be the game of the year, and that game is going to be where everyone's going to be getting. Hopefully they're going to put the rookies in this game, when? Hopefully they're going to put the rookies in this game as soon as the season starts and that's when they're going to be probably a big roster update and that will be pretty fun playing with all the rookies and I'll definitely post up some gameplay on that but right now save your money guys don't get this everyone on the forums are you know pissed off right now they're flaming this game I'm not going to flame this game but honestly save your money guys have a good one please subscribe rate comment let me know what you guys think on this showcase legend